Hey everybody, today we're going to make eggplant and ground meat. This is going to be a side dish um, that you can go with. It goes fantastic with rice and beans or just rice and gravy. Uh, you want to start by smothering um, some eggplant. So smother eggplant. Smothered means to cook over a low to medium heat for a long period of time with liquid. So uh, I sped it up for you guys. We're going to cook this eggplant until it's until, until it's pretty much mushy. Um, here I am. I'm cutting three or four eggplant in here. I'm making a larger batch. And this is what it's going to start to look like. It's going to start to look like um, it's going to start losing its plumpiness. It's going to start breaking down in the water. Uh, now it's time to cook the ground meat. This is about three pounds of ground beef. Uh, we're going to brown this in my favorite skillet. Uh, it's a nice stainless steel skillet, heavy bottom. Alright, let's check back on the eggplant. You can tell it's still going. Just let that cook on the side while you brown your ground beef. Uh, I think this is 80-20 ground beef, so it's going to it's gonna have a lot of fat. Um, just keep stirring it. Once you have a lot of fat in there, you can drain it. Drain it before you season it, because you don't want to dump out a lot of the seasoning. So we're going to continue to stir. Yeah, I mean it takes a little while to brown the ground beef. Probably, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Depending on how high you keep it. Yeah, I mean right now I have mine at about medium high. Medi in between medium and medium high. I don't want to burn it. Uh, and I got some time. Add some, again, to my new news seasoning. Uh, it's my go-to Cajun seasoning. I love it. It's got a really good flavor, a lot less salt. Uh, just give that a mix, and then let's check back on the eggplant. By this point, the eggplant should be nice and soft. Now, what we'll, the trick here: use a slotted spoon, so you don't, so you can let the, a lot of the juice drain. What I don't like is a lot to have a lot of juice in the final product. You could always let it cook out, but the slide spoon helps with a lot of that. So once you get the consistency the way you want it after you've added the eggplant, you can freeze the extra eggplant. It's no problem. You can use it later. This is pretty much what you're left with. It, de it doesn't look appetizing. I'll agree. Uh, but anybody that's tried it knows that it's delicious. It goes really, really good over rice. Over rice and gravy is how I like it. I mix it in with my rice and gravy, and that's how I eat it. Really good. Anyway, if this video helped you guys, um, or if you tried it out and you liked it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. I appreciate it. Thanks.